All right, well, let us take a look and hopefully clear up some confusion um, between the topic of upsizing inside of Camera Raw or upsizing a photo right inside of Photoshop. So hopefully I can clear some of the confusion or maybe even add to it. Now, I've got to make one little disclaimer here. Uh, I am recording this tutorial right before our company's Christmas vacation. So uh, we are very close to Christmas if you're listening to this near Christmas time and you hear music pop up on the intercom or some other kind of weird holiday cheer, uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. And if you're watching this later on in the summertime because you're just coming across it, you'll wonder why you hear Christmas music. So that's why. Okay. Uh, um, unfortunately, our soundproof room does not appear to be impervious to the intercom. So what I'm going to do here inside of Bridge is double-click on a RAW file. And inside of Camera Raw, you'll see that right here under Size, I have the option to open at the regular size that it is at. I can downsize where these little minus signs appear. Or I can upsize where you see these little plus signs. So right now, for sake of argument, let's go ahead and let's open this up at uh, the 3,336 uh, 3, by 5120. Okay? So that's upsizing it considerably. And then I'm just going to hit open. And so this image is going to open inside of Photoshop here. Okay, so we will keep this kind of tucked off to the side here as Exhibit A. Now I'm going to go back over into Bridge. I'm going to double-click the same RAW file. And this time I'm going to open it at the size that it was meant to be at. Okay, but I'm going to remember that size right there, 3,336 3, by 5,120. But I'm going to open it at the size it was meant to open at neither downsizing nor upsizing. And now with this one, I'm going to upsize inside of Photoshop. So let's go up to the image menu, go over to image size, and for the dimensions, if you recall, if you don't recall, I wrote them down. It's 3,336 by 5120, and it works out perfectly. And then the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to use bicubic smoother because I'm upsizing. There's lots of religious debates on which one to use when you're resampling your image. This is the one that I use. Um, I, I personally just find that it works out best for my images. Now, at this point, I'm going to hit OK, and Photoshop is going to upsize that image. Now, to complete the test, what we need to do is just bring both of these images together in the same file. So I'm going to take, this is the one that we did inside Photoshop right here. I'm going to take it hold down my shift key, I'm just going to drag it into the other image. And if I look in the other, and at this point I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Now if I look in the other image, the top layer is the Photoshop layer, so I'm going to double click it, rename it Photoshop, and the bottom layer is Camera Raw. Alright, well let's take a look here. I'm going to hold down my control key, hit plus or minus to zoom in and out. And uh, I can use my space for our key to pan around. But let's look at these trees. There's a lot of detail there. See what we have here. So what we're seeing right now is the upsized image inside of Photoshop. OK. I'm going to hide it. And what we're seeing right now is the upsized image in Camera Raw. I'm not seeing anything at 25%, but let's get in here maybe to 50. Let's go in even to 100%. OK, look at some of the details in the tree. This is Camera Raw you're looking at right now. And that's Photoshop. So I personally don't see a difference yet. So as we go through here, let's maybe zoom out a little bit and try to, I can even use the navigator up here. Maybe we'll go up into the rocks. We'll zoom in some here. Go back into 100%. Let's take a look here. And obviously, we upsize the image, so we are going to lose some clarity. We're gonna, it's going to be a little bit more fuzzy than it would be uh, had you opened it at the size that it was meant to be opened at. But I would just want to dispel the, the myth here of which one is better to upsize. So uh, this is Camera Raw's image at 100%, and this is the Photoshop image. I'm seeing just the slightest hair, and, and frankly, when you're looking at this with the compression with the video, I don't think you're going to see anything, but I'm seeing the slightest little difference here, but barely anything noticeable. So. I'll zoom out a little bit here, and we'll take a look at maybe one more area here. Maybe we'll look down toward the waterfall at the bottom, see if we lost or gained any detail there at 100%. Let 
maybe make my image preview as large as I can here. Let's take a look down here. So right now we are looking at the Photoshop upsized version of it. And we are looking at the Camera Raw version now. So this is Photoshop and this is Camera Raw. So now you may be asking, why did I do this? What the heck does all this mean? And the answer is, it's, it's not to confuse you as to which one you should use. It's to show you that it doesn't really matter which one you should use. Because I've seen a lot of questions on this. I've seen a lot of debates over uh, which, which place is better to upsize. Here's what I do. If when I'm working the image inside of Camera Raw, I know that I'm going to need to upsize that photo, well, I go ahead and I do it inside of Camera Raw because I just prefer to work inside that large dialog box, get everything done that I can inside there. However, if it doesn't happen that way, and if you later on realize that you need to make the image larger, it's not the end of the world to do it inside of Photoshop. You don't have to go to Camera Raw and start all over again. As you can see here, in all the images that I've done my tests on, I'm not finding a difference between doing it inside of Camera Raw and doing it inside of Photoshop here. So that's it. I'd like to wish everybody a happy holiday. Again, I'm recording this video uh, right before Christmas, so it will go up before Christmas. Uh, should you be watching this at a later time, then uh, it most certainly will seem odd that I'm wishing you a happy holiday. But hey, uh, we like to do that here. So have a, ha have a happy and great holiday to everybody out there.